Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. I have Dr. Joe, not only a colleague and a friend, but someone throughout this world who can really educate you and the rest of us when it comes to nutrition. Now, here's a fellow who has been involved with nutrition for uh, many, many years. Uh, I wanna say welcome, Dr. Joe. Thank you for being here with us and uh, I'm quite excited that we are going to hit the highlights of antioxidants. Uh, how are you this morning or today or tonight? Doc, I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. I'm always inspired and motivated by the motivational doc. I'm excited for the opportunity to share what we have available for people to improve their lives, just, just as you do on a daily basis. I'm very, very eager to be here and, and share that, enthusiastic to say the least. <laughs> Well, you know, we talk about antioxidants, and antioxidants really is everything. Uh, this is all about free radicals. This is damage that's done to the cells. Uh, this is what causes oxidation. And I like to use a simple analogy that uh, if you have a lock, let's say you have a lock on a bicycle and it's sitting near a beach near the ocean, and you come back to your lock and you want to open it up one day after it's sitting there for several weeks and it starts to rust, that's oxidation. The same thing happens within our bodies. And the importance of this program is to educate those how we can limit free radicals in our body, which are all linked to heart disease, obesity, prediabetes, metabolic syndrome. That's what it's all about. So it's putting the right nutrients in our body to preserve for longevity, for good health, and for, and for prevention. Absolutely, and that's a great analogy using that you know lock that gets rusted as we age we oxidize and what we have are antioxidants that are normally interlaced in our food sources that will slow down or arrest that aging process so the more analogies we can use and the more examples and the more we can tell our patients that this is what you need to have in your diet not only from a macronutrient point of view but a micronutrient point of view such as antioxidants the more empowered they are to make better decisions so mike macronutrients are, we're looking basically our carbs our proteins and our fats that's what everyone's accustomed to you know the, the ketogenic diet people concentrating to lose weight and by the way i have a big surprise for our listeners from you uh, about you which i'm going to share in a little while but we won't go there yet. But yes, um, macronutrients. But the micronutrients is overlooked. Uh, and that's what we really want to bring in, the types of foods. Um, and the first thing that comes to my mind are the colorful foods, the anthocyanins, the, these colorful foods that, that can really do wonders not only for our heart, our lungs, our kidneys, our eyes. These are the things that's quite overlooked. And the other thing I want to bring out that I think is important are our processed refined foods, our box foods, the foods that we eat inside the aisles of our supermarkets rather than the outside where the fruits and vegetables are and the, and the organic things that grow from the ground and the, the foods that have these phytonutrients that are loaded with these antioxidants that people are not eating. And obviously, it's like putting dirty oil in your car. How is it going to run well? That's what people are doing out there. So what type of, uh, let's go ahead and, and kick it right into there. Yeah, so much attention, as you just mentioned, is given to the macronutrient angle of things, low fat, um, you know, high protein, as you were saying, ketogenic diets, so on and so forth. Not as much attention is being given to the micronutrients and what they could do to protect our health. Right. And, right. and the more and and the real question is well how do I know do I if I have enough am I eating the colors of the rainbow in our fruits and vegetables and you hit on something else that's majorly important is that most of us are eating processed foods we're not aware that this processed foods that we're eating as opposed to the nutrient dense foods that come from the earth are actually robbing and depleting us and creating those free radicals versus those antioxidant nutrients that are beneficial to our overall health and longevity. Absolutely. You know, and it's interesting that um, people really, I mean, for example, a, a real simple thing, I'm, I'm going to put, when I put these little videos over us, uh, you're still going to see us just briefly, but um I mean, you, you look at like the antioxidants, these are chemical compound molecules counteracting and damaging the effects of oxygen. We look here, we 
can see that basically uh, these free radicals have an unpaired electron. The antioxidants donate electrons. Uh, and this is going on on a, on a microscopic level all the time within our cells. Uh, and we need to replenish. That's what it's all about. It's just like hydration. I mean, if we keep it real simple, when our body's dehydrated and 70 to 75% or, 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 of our body is made up of water, I mean, our brain, our heart, our blood, and we need this detoxification system and our lymphatic system as well as our liver and our digestive system that prevents constipation. But when we're deficient in water, look at the consequences that we have to suffer. Imagine being deficient in nutrients. And that is so vital. And just the sugar in itself, what it's doing, how it's causing inflammation, that inflammation is robbing our body of those micro minerals or those macro uh, phytonutrients, as well as uh, all of these antioxidants that we're not getting. Um, and I think that's so important. Go ahead. Go ahead Knowledge Dr. is the key here. Yeah, you're, you're, great point. I mean, hydration, proper hydration, dehydration problems, nutrition undernutrition, you know, you know, having a nutritional deficiency problems. We need to know what our levels are. You mentioned oil going into a car, not enough oil engine has problems. So how do you know what your level is? How do you know if you're at the right, you know, if there's too much or too little, as they call it, the, the Goldilocks, you know, not yeah. too much, not too little, just enough. Yeah. And, you know, and, and people are asking, well, how do I get these problems with, we call it oxidative stress. Uh, how do we get these problems? Let's just, let me just throw share a few of them. And then people can understand why maybe I really need to take better care of my body. Air pollution, cigarette smoke, alcohol, toxins, high blood sugar levels, high blood sugar levels, right there, pre-diabetes, diabetes, insulin resistance, uh, uh, not getting enough oxygen in our body. I mean, think about oxygen's key. Um, and, and then again, the antioxidant deficiencies that we're getting from that's either taken away from a food. For example, the majority of our people but the people throughout the world, magnesium deficiency, vitamin D deficient. And these all play a role with our immune system because it is our immune system that needs to be there all the time to keep us strong. Otherwise, we're going to damage our DNA. This is what increases cancer. This is what uh, causes heart disease. You know, we, we've been taught in school in the past that cholesterol uh, causes heart disease. No, it's inflammation. It's inflammation that causes disease. And this is all linked to our lifestyle, our environmental factors, the stress that promotes this excessive free radical formation, this excessive oxidative stress in our body. And this is why we degenerate. And the whole purpose of our life, Doc, is to try to slow degeneration down and prolong our life with better quality of health. You hit some major key points there as far as the oxidative stress to our bodies. And we can't forget about you know, mental stress. We can't forget about sleep deprivation. So that's many a, hormones big are big one, big one, big ones. Yes, major one. Uh, so many hormones are are restored for restorative sleep. Um, you know, and this can go in so many different directions. But as we can see, it starts off in one place and it starts ping ponging, shooting out the different aspects of our health. And we have to get adequate sleep, adequate hydration, adequate nutrition. Uh, we have to make sure we detoxify not only mentally. But physically, yes. um, and our body has systems to detoxify, but if they get overwhelmed or if they don't have the building blocks to rebuild, as you were saying, with regenerative sleep, uh, or you know, then we start getting into uh, symptoms of, of diseases or dis-ease, as we like to say. Well, if we look here, Doc, we look here at the antioxidants. We're looking at the colors, and we can see how pretty these colors are. And um, I'm big with colors. And uh, let me just say a couple quick things about the reds. Uh, the red foods. Uh, it helps prevent a lot of the certain types of cancers. Remember, Doc, another good important thing is that the sun, what the sun damages, UVB rays, what kind of damage does that do to our skin? That's Those are free radicals, uh, you know, and that's the wear and tear of skin aging. The, 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 the world today spends more money on skin care than anything. And the bottom line is that you can't have healthy skin if your inside of your body is not healthy. You know, this is where it comes from. Getting the right nutrients, not to cover it up, not to put the vitamin C on it, you know, or other little, you know, things that they're selling to try to take your money, but try to work from the inside. So we look at the yellow and oranges and they support the eye health. 
It helps lower cancer as well as heart disease. We look at the green foods, which are cruciferous, which are extremely powerful, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, helps lower the risk of cancer and heart disease. The blue and purple uh, foods, fruits and, and, and vegetables, as you see, great for neurological, great for brain. And then we look at the dark reds, uh, helps support athletic performance, which we're going to share uh, a little bit about you in a second. Helps lower blood pressure as well as heart disease. And the white and the browns are anti-inflammatories uh, as well as antioxidants. Great for colon cancer, heart disease. Another very important thing while we're on this is the fiber. Fiber. Mm. Fiber is a key uh, player when it comes down to preventing uh, metabolic syndrome, prediabetes polyphenols, flavonoids, carotenoids, all these technical words we're saying here, if you want to simplify it like you did, Doc, so beautifully, it's following the colors of the rainbow. We can decode what we need um, these nutrients for in our body, and science is getting closer and closer as to what the function is, as you mentioned, with lutein for the eye and, 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 and lycopene, you know, comes from tomatoes. We can simplify it with the colors, and we can get super scientific for people who like to delve into the information. Yeah, yeah. like the zeal. Yeah, the zeaxanthins and all these types of things, correct. Yeah, zeaxanthin, astaxanthin, alpha, beta, carotene, lutein, lycopene. Don't get freaked out by the science, guys. Just look at the colors. Eat the colors of the rainbow, and you've got yourself co covered. And yeah. as, far as, the vitamin, as far as the sunshine, again, we're back to the Goldilocks principle. Too much sunshine, no good. Too little, not enough vitamin D. For example, sunshine helps convert. 125 dihydroxycalciferol to the vitamin D we utilize. So you need a certain amount of sunshine, but not too much where it damages your skin. And one last point, beauty does come from the inside out. It's very hard to see someone who's sick who looks good. Someone has to be healthy from the inside to radiate beauty outward. Very okay. important. Doc, this is the time that I'm waiting for. All right? <laughs> All right. I'm going to let you talk briefly about this, and I'm going to show before and after. Here you are here. How long ago was this? Well, that was about uh, four years ago uh, when I took that picture. <laughs> okay. And what, what were your symptoms? Uh, unfortunately, um, I was experiencing a, on a personal level uh, something called gout or hyperuricemia, still something that I have genetically. And also, as far as decisions I was making lifestyle-wise, I was not on the right path. And I decided I wanted to do something about it uh, from a macro and micronutrient point of view. This was okay. kind of like the before picture, if you will. All right. Now, this is a very, 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 very common epidemic worldwide. All right. And what we're concerned about with this, Doc, is visceral fat, because visceral fat is what surrounds the organs. And visceral fat has cytokines that are secreted within the body. And this has an effect on metabolic syndrome. And obviously with metabolic syndrome, we're looking at prediabetes, high blood pressure. We're looking at uh, cancers and, and other unfortunate diseases, cardiovascular disease, clogging of the arteries. Uh, and this is a very, very important thing that I want everyone to take serious because when you experience visceral fat, that's the damaging fat. That's the dangerous fat that leads to dangerous conditions like heart attacks or strokes. So um, this... Uh, Doc, what th this is this blows my mind. Okay, let's let's just go right to it. Okay, so I'm going to take this off, and then we're going to look at this right here. There you are, um, before and after. Wow, this is like touching, man. Look look at the size of you. Yeah, um, this is 244. I'm in the um, Niagara Falls region with my wife, and uh, we're celebrating our 12 year anniversary there. And I was actually in the middle of a, a gout attack. I could barely walk and get on the plane. I almost didn't go. But I forced myself to go. And then this other picture you see here is about four years later, where I decided to take charge of my health and get onto a better metabolic path. And uh, 54 pounds later, um, back in April, this is the picture here. And I'm, I'm very proud of what I've done, but yeah. more importantly, on how I got there and how I've been able to help uh, other people on, on, on their uh, individual journeys with this. Okay. And this is what's going to blow a lot of people's mind right here, Doc. That's you. Yeah, um, I'm a former, you know, athlete when, in high school, and obviously I let myself go, as you saw in those pictures. And I said, you know, what can I do to really show that I'm metabolically functioning like the way I used to? So I ended up uh, doing a, a, a few triathlons. I did three in an 11-week span. This is in the middle of uh, – uh, this is a, the finishing one of an Olympic triathlon exactly a year ago yesterday. Um, and uh, just um, more about – 
being able to function. It's not about going out there and running triathlons. If anyone's watching this, like, I can't do that. You know, believe it or not, you probably can. It's about getting your body to function the way it's meant to be, both on an anatomical and a physiological level. So, wow, this was really powerful. So the, the, the moral of this video, the foundation of this video is definitely we are what we eat. And it's paying attention to those antioxidants, those phytonutrients, so the anthocyanidins, those colorful fruits, those colorful vegetables, getting away from the refined processed foods, which is damaging, as well as our fruit juices or drinks and Cokes and sodas, that's what's leading to metabolic syndrome. That's what's leading to prediabetes. And that's causing inflammation, leading to cardiovascular disease. And if we can educate the millions of people out there through this media, as well as other medias, where I'm asking people out there to share this video on your media, you're actually, we're actually, everyone's actually helping save lives. The word doctor means teacher. And all we're here to do is teach people how to live healthier lives. And as far as metabolic syndrome, we're dealing with increased waist circumference or visceral fat, as you mentioned, the belly fat, increased blood pressure, increased triglycerides, increased sugars, and increased, increased cholesterol. If you have two out of the five of those, most likely you have metabolic syndrome or prediabetes. And using the right nutrients, you can actually, because it's a disease of lifestyle, you can use lifestyle to help heal yourself to a better path of metabolic uh, uh, functioning. So uh, just to summarize, uh, we don't want to keep this video too long. Uh, mm -hmm. Summarize, we met recently, you did something on me to check my antioxidants. Uh, <laughs> for, um, for a quick minute, go ahead and tell briefly what you do as part of your pride in helping the, the many people worldwide. Uh, keep it real brief, and uh, I'll give you the mic here. Sure. What we do is we have a tool that gives you an assessment of exactly how many of these micronutrients, specifically antioxidants, you have. It's more accurate than a biopsy. It's a non-invasive test. And you have the ability to do that. And, and, and Dr. Mandel, I was blown away by your score. Because you walk, you walk, and you talk, you talk, you scored very, very well on this test. And it's a reflection of not only you know what you preach to people to do, but you, as I mentioned, you do yourself. So it let me know that you have five quarts of the good oil in you if you were a vehicle. And this assessment is available for those who are interested. Um, we can provide that for you. It's something that's, um, it, it's a, I call it a, a lifestyle indicator tool. It's a lifestyle lie detector test if you want to see where you're at. So a lot of people wonder, am I getting enough uh, protection? You know, am I at risk with free radicals? So this test is available. We can post some information on that and, and yeah. let you know how you can get your own antioxidant test and, and learn more about how to keep yourself healthy in general, for sure. I'll be more than happy to put that in the description below, and uh, they will be get a, be able to get in contact with you with that description, correct? And if they have any further yes. questions, I'm sure you can help them. Well, anyways, Dr. Joe, let me tell you, man, this was right on. Right up my alley. So Absolutely. Um, you did a, thank you so much for, for reinforcing this. Uh, and it's what well, it's really makes me a little sensitive because when I see what you went through and the millions of people who, who are, who saw what you went through, they don't have to run marathons. It's just making the change and, uh, what people can do for themselves and for their families, and for their loved ones to preserve and to get that health back in their life. This was definitely a great motivator. I want to say thank you so much. My pleasure. And listen, you got my family right over here and I got them over my shoulder. It wasn't by accident. You know, if you do it for yourself, do it for people that you love. My dad had diabetes and it didn't fare well for him. He passed away. But you know what? I want to continue being an example as for not only for myself, and my family, but for, for people that, uh, you know, didn't get the information they needed. Fortunately, you guys do have the information. You can take action and take uh, accountability for your own health. So thank you, Dr. Mandel, for everything you do. And it's been a <clears> pleasure <throat> being with you today. Thank you, Joe. Dr. Joe, we'll be in touch. Uh, have a great day, great night, wherever you're at right now. And uh, blessings to everyone out there. Uh, and uh, make it a great day, right? There you go. All right. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye <laughs> now.